Welcome. Thank you for choosing Zethon Dating Service. Here at Zethon, we know that scientifically your perfect match is somewhere in the known universe. The trick is finding them. You have signed up to use the systematically pivoting energetic emphasis device, which our engineers have lovingly labeled the Speed Dater. Once you and the other 999 participants are strapped in, we will use your submitted data in combination with the Speed Dater's rotating chambers to bring you face to face with a potential partner. Thanks to the Zethon trademarked restraints, none of you will be able to move, so you can be as brutally honest or artificially nice as you wish without fear of reprisal. Don't you worry about any language barriers standing between you and true love. The Speed Dater's universal translation matrix will approximate your date's native language into a dialect comparable to one found on your home planet. After nine rotations, you may attempt to pick a partner. If they pick you as well, you will both be released from the speed dater and move to stage two. If you do not like anyone, you can take another round in the speed dater until you find your match. If at any time you wish to stop participating in the speed dater, you can. Just imagine yourself pressing that big red button above you and you will be taken out of the rotation. Refunds will not be provided. All 1,000 entities have been strapped in and accounted for. The program will begin shortly. So just remember, Zethon, for when love is too hard. Well, that was disorienting. So you're the first date? What am I saying? You obviously are. I'm Zeppy. What's your name? Cool. I think my second cousin's fourth wife's uncle's brother's president has that name. Do you know them? No? Ah, oh, that's a shame. Anyway, I'm Zeppy. When I was little, I always wanted to race my Kluxes, and now I do. It's my passion. I have to take a few stimulants all the time to keep pace with them. Reaction time and all that. And apparently that's led to a few side effects. People tell me I'm really hyper, but I don't see it. What about you? What do you do for a living? Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Cool. So I was looking for someone who... Whoa, the light above you just changed colors. Wait, does that mean... Oh, no! Fascinating. One would think meaningful bonds could not be formed in that short of a time frame, yet Zethon has a relatively good return record, according to my research. Oh, I'm sorry. I was engrossed in my research. People call me Starhopper. I'm a scientist. I wanted to partake in this speed dater to acquire a better understanding of various aliens' musings on love. I should state that I have a closed recorder on my person, and every sound you make may or may not be published in a scientific paper. Do you consent to being recorded? Very good! As the observer, and a subject, I am an interesting variable in this experiment. <laughs> Therefore, I'd request you to lead this engagement. Would you list some hobbies or interests that allow me to assign value to them? Very good. The light changed. Ah, I suppose I should spend less time. Whoop. Okay. I think I'm getting the hang of this. We just have to move quick. I'll go first. I'm Pliff. I've gotten a few comments on my body. And yes, I'm semi-tangible. When I focus, I can become entirely ethereal and phase through most surfaces. Although... These bindings must be made of something special, because I can't go through them. Anyway, I like short walks, warm hugs, and spending time one-on-one. -on -one. What about you? That last bit sounds interesting. Do you normally do that outside, or...? Huh. I've never heard of doing it that way. But I suppose there are plenty of things I haven't heard of. I'd love to learn with you. Yeah, really. My first two dates were pretty bland. So if they're the average, then you're a shoe in for my pick. Well, that's our time. 
overseas. Oh, what's a pretty thing like you doing in a place like this? Hmm, your voice! It's like Bliss walked the air! What do you say we get out of here and you show me what else that mouth can do, huh? Oh, the pleasantries? Well, I'm Cully. I'm sure you can tell what I am. No? Inexperienced, aren't we? My race is called Lorilla, but we're better known for what we do, not what we're called. We're quite notorious in bedrooms everywhere, and I assure you, I am very adept for my kind. What about you? Do they moan your praises on your home planet? Huh? Do they? Oh, really? I have to say I didn't expect that from you. Well then, let's cut to the chase, huh? <laughs> Pick me, and we can have lots of fun together. I'm thinking the district orgy on Hallows. But for our first time, I'll let you pick what to do. Oh, there's the ding. Remember Culey, cutie. Mwah. Greetings, fifth date. I am DA15. I was an onboard personality for a space freighter. But thanks to a random radiation flare, I became sentient. I adopted this body, and I am trying to explore my consciousness. I learned that love is traditionally considered to be a large part of being alive. Hence, my appearance here. What about you? Incredible. Have all members of your race experienced a similar story, or just you? Interesting. You have certainly piqued my interest organic. Sadly, I cannot return any talk of hobbies or interests. I have only been alive for a few days. Thank you for the birthday wishes. The only thing of note I've done took place approximately four hours into my consciousness. When I committed a small series of digital thefts so that I would have funding for this date experience. Yes, the others expressed I should not tell people that, but I... Goodbye, Organic. Oh, hi. I'm Samos. What's your name? That's... Um, uh... I shouldn't be here. I'm sorry. This is my first time even leaving my home planet. Oh, you want to know more? Well, I'm from Weeped. It's a farming planet, mostly. I didn't really get around much. There wasn't really anywhere to go. There were only a few other people within a reasonable distance, so I made friends with them and settled. My best friend was always a little more outgoing than me. They met someone with Zethon and uh, insisted that I tried it out. I didn't really know what to expect. Um, do you go to other planets often? I'm sorry if I don't seem very attentive. I've never met this many new people this fast. I'm a little... Overwhelmed? Thank you. That means a lot. Oh, um, bye? Ah, another candidate. I'll get straight to the point. I'm Kaitel, and I'm looking for a mate. Love is optional, and your species' method of reproduction doesn't matter. My people are incredibly fertile. Any genetic sample, when consumed properly, will suffice. Whether that be a reproductive fluid, blood, or just a little flesh. To further entice you, I would be willing to partake in any mating or courting rituals, long or short term. That is, 
If you're favorable genetically. Wink, wink. <laughs> yes, favorable. I have a few questions. Is your species avian? Do you have less than 44,000 chromosomes in your genetic singularity? How do you personally approach caring for a child? All good. Should you pick me, I can promise monogamy and at least 16 children. Consider it. Well, howdy, how are you? Oh, that's great. I'm doing pretty well myself. Thanks for asking. I'm Poovoo. My people lived for an incredibly long time, and my ninth partner died a number of years ago. I know it's hard to believe, but I'm a widow woman. I've mourned and moved forward and sold all my furniture, and as always, my manor has been so lonely without someone to share it with, so I'm looking for number 10. Yes, manor. I'm the head of a rather large corporation. But don't go thinking it's an easy paycheck. I got me a sick sense about false sincerity. Oh, that's enough of my chatter. I want to hear about you. I think I got a question that'll say a lot about you. Why don't you tell me what shape you think best represents happiness, huh? Oh, well, you're an interesting one, ain't you? I wonder... Oh, well, that's all our time. Nice to meet you. Hi, hello. I made a little mistake being here. My friend signed me up for this as sort of a prank. Y you see, I already have a partner. I actually have six. I I'm not looking for love. So... I've just been trying to make friends. Uh, I'm Huawei. What's your name? Huh, like the president? <laughs> that must be fun. Uh, hey, what do you think of Yeffy Ball? I personally love the game. Watch it, play it, everything. I've even got an original Yeffy Ball. Oh, you must not be a diehard Yeffer, huh? You see, when Yeffians invented Yeffy Ball, they made about two million balls out of authentic Yeff leather. Between the demand for more Yeffy Balls and the rather short-sighted nature of the Yeffians, they accidentally killed the last of the Yeff Yeffs. <laughs> Whoops! Uh, you know, their fur is essential to making original Yeffy Balls. Since then, the Yeffians have had to make Yeffy Balls out of Weff Weff fur, not Yeff Yeff fur, and, and the difference in aerodynamics is pretty extreme. I, but, but the original Yeffy Balls are much better for Yeffing because... Whoops! <laughs> That concludes the ninth dating candidate. You are now allowed to use your appendages to select up to three dates. A first, second, and third choice. If your first choice doesn't select you, you may move on to your second, and then your third. Alternatively, you can leave one or more places unselected if you did not like any of the dating options. If all your options did not choose you, then you will be sent in for another round of the speed dater. Please make your selection in the next five minutes. Thank you for choosing Zethon Dating Service. Zethon, for when love is too hard. <laughs>